to episode 24 of our Let's Play Hearts of Iron 3 Italy. Here from last time, we conquered the Soviet Union, big American peasant uprising in England. Japan, it was much the same in Central Africa as it has been for a while. Finished up in Oman. Yeah, I think they're actually slowly losing ground in Southeast Asia, but slowly is the key word there. Now, oh, Australia's gained half of Tasmania and a bit of South Australian Victoria. And well, let's just get on with it. So you remember what we were doing at the end of the last episode was kind of just waiting for our forces to move into France. To, because once they they'll be able to counter the Americans in the United Kingdom and prepare for the invasion of America. Which is the obvious next step since we've kind of defeated all the other well, there are other enemies now. American Partisan Uprising in France. But we can oh, we should actually get some soldiers to head down and a single division should be more than enough to deal with them. Let's get them to strategically redeploy there just so they get there a bit quicker. Move up to rejoin the forces in Normandy. Like the Americans in Britain. Just speed it up. Nothing much is happening. We should actually we really don't need to send spies to France at all. Where else am I sent to? UK also defeated, so we don't need them. Soviet Union, not a bit. Oh well, maybe a little bit. They are still the leader of the common turn, which is not at war with them. And we can send everybody to the USA. Not all of our new spies. Three divisions run past their supplies. So we just have to wait for a little bit and then we'll be able to attack. It's easy they've actually got supplies, but just no fuel. I'm not entirely sure what our infantry division needs fuel for, but apparently it can't attack without it. Ok, let's get loading these guys up on ships. Should just going to be do a fair bit of unclicking here. Oh, bugger. Okay, starting again. Third time's a charm. Uh, they really should make this easier. Go. They 
Okay, I don't really want to do an invasion, let's just transport them to low stuffed. And from there they can just Actually that would probably be enough to retake England, but we'll send in a few more ship boatloads. Boats, or next lot of boats, no doubt. Or at least the same lot of boats, but next lot of soldiers. soldiers there to actually kind of mop up and support, surround, you know, destroy all the American forces there. Because Lowestoft is a very small port. So I'll just put my armor um, division here to link up with well our other territory, so we can start getting supplies coming through from the other ports. And then with the tree can go and capture or recapture a few of these ports and we can get more supplies in if we need them. Looks like our uh, temporary supply problem there just fixed itself. Well, we fixed it when we linked up our our forces. So now it's just a case of well, I suppose running down the American troops here.
just keep driving them back and eventually they'll all surrender. Japanese will send the division to help out. Huh. United States are sending some reinforcements in. Marine Division. Looks like it's actually going to put up a decent fight. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Just get my Navy over here. Just come and sit in the Irish Sea, since the Americans have some ships in the area. What well, we just sink a couple of them. Although, oddly enough, the Ridgey Marina isn't in supply and half the ships are quite damaged. So I'll just send them back to Italy for repairs. Now here, the Marines are putting up a significant fight. Slowly wearing them down there. But you got another landing up in Glasgow. So we sunk a destroyer division. Which I suppose doesn't mean a lot in the grand scheme of things, but... I don't know. My Navy's actually been very useful in this playthrough, but it hasn't actually done all that much combat.
managed to sink a transport flotilla. Marinas back in supply. It's almost prepared as well. Almost defeat the Americans. Just these final two divisions around Glasgow. And we just cut off their supplies. So they really won't be able to last very much longer. the old man. So for some reason I just assumed we would capture that as um we captured the entire coast of Poseidon, but no of course we didn't. I'll we'll just get those guys to chill out on Wales. They can join up with our fleet in a minute. Marine up to the Faroe Islands in preparation for our, yeah, our North Atlantic offensive. I've been thinking a bit about whether it would be better to go for Brazil or North America first, or the Brazil or you know, Canada or United States first. And I was kind of really tempted to go for Brazil because it just seems something different, something a bit fun. I think given that all my forces are kind of, well not all of them, but a significant portion of my forces are in the United Kingdom, it's probably easy to just hop across the North Atlantic and, you know, fight our enemies that way. Is that we've got both the first and third armies sitting in the same pile, which makes it a very large pile. So let's get the first army out of the way, and then we will load the rest of the third army up and move them to Britain. I suppose this works. It seems like should be slower than what I was doing before, but I don't think it actually is, mainly because I don't screw this up. Okay, that's a full load. Sorry about that, I just um, had to pop out for a minute. And they can go up to 
Scarpa Flow. Seems like a nice place to launch the invasion of North America from. Okay, I'm actually trying to sleep everybody here. And these guys? Okay, no. I'll just get these guys to stop down um, just south and I'll split them up um, core by core like we did for the landings around Leningrad just so that I don't have to deal with these massive stacks and having to deselect a bunch of troops I think we'll probably need some more battleships. It's going to get another destroyer. But, well, when this destroyer flotilla gets there, there'll be 12 destroyer flotillas and 3 battleships. Which seems a bit lighter than what you would want. Transport fleet to rebase to Scarpa Flow. Okay, so there's no victory points in Iceland or Greenland, so we should, well, we can skip them. So that our transport ships only have a 1500 kilometer range. Which is going to be just enough to get to Iceland. No, we can't reach Greenland with that. Definitely not Canada. So it looks like we actually are going to do some island hopping. Truth be told, probably that distance from Africa to Brazil is probably even too far for them. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely too far.
just wondering why we seem to have an extra core. Oh, it's because this is the fifth core of the first army. Okay. That's not really an issue, we'll just select the fourth here, and get on the boats. And you can land at Reykjavik. You might as well get the navy out here. Or, when I say the navy, I mean our battleships. For a bit of fire support. Or maybe the American navy will show up. Some soldiers defending. Apparently, quite a few in the British, Brazilian, and the United States. So, it might be a decent fight here. Nope, we won. I'm guessing they were all headquarters divisions. We can break our non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union shortly. I can't imagine why I'd actually want to do that. Okay, then I'll move... Oh, I've completely forgotten what core this is, but I'll move this core up to Reykjavik. And then from there, they can attack Greenland. too far for the Reggie Marina to go. And it's too far for my new battleships as well. I'll just move them up to the Faroe Islands and Iceland, and that will get them close enough that they'll be able to provide some support to our troops when they go onto land. Still a little too far. Well, that's the closest you're going to get. So. We're actually putting up a fight this time. With the single infantry division.
sunk the USS North Carolina, the pride of the American Navy. Sherry Gooby also sunk New Mexico, the Idaho, and the Destroy Division. And we're still fighting somewhere. The USS Franklin. Looks like they're going to live just because they're not coming within the firing range of our battleships. So that was good, we sunk a couple of battleships there and that struck a pretty significant blow against the Americans, really. So I'll just promote Tizara and send my modern battleships and destroyers out to join the fleet. Since apparently the American Navy is going to challenge us. And then once this um, other officers get off the boat, we'll be able to start shuffling troops forward for the invasion of America. And actually that St. Pierre at Miquelon, or however you say it, would actually be a really good port to capture. Just as a launching pad for the invasion of the Americans. It actually looks like it's kind of just out of range. I'll just send my fleet on a bit of a cruise around here to see what we can see. of Newfoundland. transport ships will be able to travel far enough to go from Greenland to Newfoundland. Because if I have to drop them off along the coast of Canada, that's going to be a real big pain in the ass and a huge risk since I won't have the... I won't be able to supply them directly. I mean, no, I won't be able to supply them all because I won't have any ports or air bases to deliver supplies to. And I very much doubt my transport planes, or well they couldn't supply enough supplies, even if, if they were my only means of doing it. But I don't think I have any air bases close enough for them that I can actually operate out of. But worst case scenario, I think it's just that those destroyers that are the problem. So I'll just get them to leave the fleet if it's not going to work. Ships with nothing too major. What's the, oh, victory! Excess has achieved the victory conditions. You want to continue playing or resign the game? Victory conditions. We've only done 12 of them. We don't hold Tangiers. We don't hold Honolulu. An operation sea line. We've invaded Britain, so what's that about? Oh, we don't have Dublin. We have invaded Ireland. Apparently 12 out of 15 is good enough. Well, which one of these did we just do? We've held all of those places for a long time. Singapore, Manila, Batavia, Shanghai, Baltimore, yeah. 
Okay. Um, I'm just going to save it here, I think. What about you guys let me know? Do you want me to continue playing or just leave it as it is? So here's the resignation screen. 917 points to 100 to 28. It was a pretty solid victory in the end. Although in kind of 1943, 44, and I suppose 42, it didn't really look like it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you think I should continue or not. I'll put up another video on Monday either way. Alright, see you all next time.